whether you play Mahjong online or in person, you have to be observant. Situational awareness is key when deciding what to discard and whether to play to win or fold, which basically is a poker term. And in Mahjong, we call it break up your hand. So what you need to do is look at all the discards and look at the exposures to try to figure out what someone is playing. In this exercise, we'll practice. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a recreation from a game I played at Mahjong time. This is my rack. I have two exposures, a Kong of Flowers and a Pung of Five Bands. The player to my right has a Kong of White Dragons. This player is concealed. This player has a Kong of Five Dots with a Joker. We just finished picking from the third wall. So we're heading into the end game. This is when you want to decide if you're going to play to win or break up your hand so as to not discard into a winning hand. It's a little challenging to figure out what this player is playing because of the white dragons or one exposure, same here. But here we have two exposures. If someone has two exposures, you can typically figure out what they're playing based on the exposures and the other discards. So, what am I playing? I could be playing only one hand in consecutive run. Four flowers with a pung would be the sixth hand down. We need a three bam. single pair Pung Kong. If we get a three bam or a six bam or another joker, we could discard this and be ready to win. Did you guess right? A very important skill for any Mahjong player is situational awareness. If you want to grow, practice this skill by playing online. While you're playing, watch the discards, watch the exposures, and try to figure out what other people are playing. If someone has two exposures, you can typically figure out what they're playing based on the discards and the other exposures. If there's one exposure, it's a little more challenging, but if you watch their discards, once they have that one exposure, you might be able to figure it out if you have a good memory. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.